City Classic Cars, custom car builder here. So in City Classic Cars, we want to get it down to the white meat. Now this car here, you see the glasses, man. The glasses in the car. This is what we call a partial restoration. We're going to definitely do a nice paint job on it. But the first thing you want to do, you got to get back down to the white meat. Now we do do media blasting, but whenever it's a partial, that's only on a full restoration. Full restoration, we're going to media blast it. We're going to get it all down to the white meat, metal, so that we can find out what's going on with it. In this car, you see the glasses in here, there's an engine in here. So when you do that, you don't want media spraying all over the place when you have that. So it takes a little bit more time, but it's just as good. Now we use an 80 grit, 36 grit, if you'll do it yourself at home, you're doing it. 36 is too coarse, too coarse, too hard. But we're doing, um, uh, we use 80 grit on this. But look at this, you can see the white meat on here. And it gives us an idea of what we're working with as we walk around this car. It looks good. It looks good. Now somebody's done some work on this car. Look at that patch they put in there. Somebody did some work at some point in this car's life. That's not a great patch. A, a great patch looks like this. I mean, you can't even see it. You have to look from the underside and then you can see some differences there. But a great patch should look like that. You shouldn't be able to see it. So that's not a great patch uh, going on there. You can see what they did. See all this pit here? That's where the Bondo was. So they smoothed all that out with Bondo. So they do that, they smooth all that out with Bondo and then they paint it over the top of it. But we're just going over the car and looking at it. Looks good. Look at that, that's white meat. Now here you can see some of the uh, metal here, some of the paint here. Some of that original paint there. But we're looking it over. It's all here. Definitely a little wavy in here, but you know, let's, we'll deal with that. See, if you notice, the corners is normally where you get your rust at, where you have your problems at. That's why I'm, I'm touching down here in those, in those areas there. And you can see someone's already worked with this car before. See right here, that's another area. See, all the areas where you expect to have some kind of rust and some concerns, you, you have it. But this car's been worked before and someone did it, they didn't do, um, I'll just say they didn't do it the city class cars way. I don't want to get into it. They didn't do it the right way. They did it the wrong way and all that kind of stuff. I applaud every shop out here that's hammering. Look at that at the back. Again, you can see some of the concerns and some of the work that was done before. But you see, we're taking it all the way down and that's what we do. So a lot of times individuals say, well, how much is it to do a paint job? How, how much does it cost and all that? I don't know until I take it down. I don't know what I'm going to see. And what I'm seeing right now, this car is pretty solid. This car is pretty solid right now. And then time-wise, oh, I don't know. We might be, uh, shoot, I don't know. We might be two days in just getting this car all the way down. That bundle all down here. Oh, here though. Good looking car. Well, yeah. Has some thick bondo on it. Has some thick bondo on it. Alright, so we're painting car, city class car, and I'm taking it back down to the butt next substrate. I gotta get down to the butt neck and middle so I can see what's going on there. Look at that. Now, I don't know if I saw that car did it when it came in like that or not, uh, to that effect. But you know, some people will put Bondo, look at that then. I don't know if you can get it on, on that camera screen that real, real good. But I'm talking about, that's in there. I mean, that's a, that's a good dip. I don't know if you can. <laughs> my hand there. Try to see if he had a long board. But that 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 whole deal there, they, they all that's filled in bundle too. Bundle's done a great job on the top, getting it all the way down. So a little bit left on the top, not much. 
a little bit left on the top. Basically, we got about this section here. And then we have a whole car. We'll look it over again. We'll put on a rack, put it in the app, look at it from the bottom so we can really, really see what's going on with it. But overall, a car that's in uh, solid condition. Now, why do we take a car that's in solid condition? Why do we take it all the way down if it looks good? Well, you don't know that until you take it all the way down. You don't know. So you have to be willing to take it down to the butt naked substrate. So when you're dealing with a restoration shop or you're dealing with a paint shop or whoever you're dealing with, man, there's a lot of places out here masquerading as the best. And all they're doing is taking a whole bunch of bondo and filling in holes and filling in rough places and all that. So you say, well, what's the bad side of that? It saves me money. It's not going to cost me much. But first of all, bondo is just like, it works best when it's just like a skim coat, just a skim, you know. You can have little small pits in the body and you get it straight as much as you can with the metal. Then you have a little pits in it. And what that bondo will do, that bondo will just smooth everything out, make everything small, smooth and true. So you'll see a lot of high-end restoration cars. The whole car, I have a skim coat of Bondo. And that Bondo is not there to fill in low spots or anything like that. And it's not there to hide rust, to hide holes. It's not there for that. A lot of times people take Kitty Hab, which is uh, Bondo with a little fiberglass in it. And if there's some, a uh, lot of, just a lot, a lot of rat holes, they'll put some tape on the backside. They'll take that Kitty Hab. Put, put it put it over there like that and then once it dries that tape on on the back side you peel it off and on the front side you have what appears to be true surface there but that's not the type of substrate we want the substrate we want is metal we want to get back down to the white meat metal is what i call it, the butt naked metal and that's that's what we have here we find out what's going on now i'm responsible for this paint see i'm down to the to the substrate so I'll treat this metal, I'll seal this metal, and the metal is not a problem. The metal is good. The place has got a bad, I'll repair it. But once I do that, I'm responsible. Because now I'm building it up. I'm building it up. And so um, so we're going to put this in a, in a epoxy sealer. We're going to seal all of the um, metal in, in an epoxy primer. So once we do it in an epoxy primer, we're going to take care of all of our metal work and all that kind of stuff. And then when we actually get ready to start doing the body work, we use a, we're gonna use a 2K primer, 2, 2K high bill primer. So we're gonna use that 2K primer, we're gonna do all our body work in that 2K primer. But see, we keep building up, we keep building up with layers. And even prior to the um, epoxy primer, I won't let you know the product I use, don't worry about using, but I use a real good uh, rust treatment product that I put on the metal prior to even putting the epoxy seal on there, I let that dry for about 24 to uh, 36 hours, then I come back and I put the whole thing in the seal and then it all looked black or one color. I use black, whatever color you use. Then we come back with that um, 2K prime, we do body work on top of that, block that out. Then once we're finished with that, we take it in the uh, booth and, and the next chemical product we're gonna put on here, we're gonna put seal. So we're gonna put seal on top of that 2K prime. Then once we seal the car, and I'm leaving, I'm purposely leaving out some steps, but I'm letting you know how the build process goes. So we're gonna put that sealer on there. Once we put that sealer on there, then you're talking about base coat. So we're gonna put base coat. We use DBC primarily, Deltron base coat. That's primarily what we use. We're definitely gonna use a PPG product. So you'll see some shops, they'll, they'll use a lot of them to use shop line. Nothing wrong with that. Shop line is good, it's PPG, but I don't use shop, shop line. I choose to use DBC, Deltron base coat, which is their higher end of the PPG product. And then I'm gonna seal this, I mean, and then I'm gonna clear this car in a minimum, a minimum of DCU 2021. I may even go a, a little higher end than that, but at least DCU 2021. All right, so I saw a show the other day, man, they had a car, they said, man, beautiful car. They said, so what we're gonna do now, we got this car out of paint, and what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut it. So we're gonna cut it, and, and, and then we're gonna buff it. But what I do at my shop, I'm gonna cut it, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna clear it again. And that second process of clearing, it gives it just a little bit more depth, just a little bit more quality, a higher level. Then I'm gonna come back, cut it out, paint it up. That's how we do it at City Class Cars. But remember, it starts with the what? The butt naked substrate. 832-717-0774 when you want the best. God bless you.